Another legislative session in Atlanta is now in the books, and needless to say, it was a very good one for Georgia agriculture. The Monitor's Mark Wildman paid a visit to the state capitol as lawmakers focused on a couple of key issues that are important to farmers. Outside the state capitol in Atlanta, the Gold Dome sat under a peaceful blue sky and calm weather. But inside the Georgia House of Representatives was a buzz as they tried to hammer out legislation in one of their final sessions. Farmers and others who depend on agriculture to make their living can be very pleased with some key issues that lawmakers hammered out this year. One of those issues has to do with timber theft. House Bill 790 made it through both the House and the Senate, and the bill will give the Forestry Commission investigation and arrest powers to help fight the timber thieves. It's sort of an under-the-radar type of problem. Oftentimes it's a crime that, uh, that victims may be hesitant to report uh, for fear of embarrassment if you will. Uh, timber theft can occur with absentee landowners that, that are not here to watch after their property uh, with, with a timber harvester going over a property line either intentionally or unintentionally. Uh, and it can occur if you're selling timber on a units removed basis that all of the wood that, that is leaving your farm going to the mill doesn't get reported in your name. So for several years both Georgia Farm Bureau and Georgia Forestry Association have had timber theft legislation as a legislative priority. Uh, we finally, through a study committee that the House appointed this past year, studied the problem during the off season and drafted legislation to address it this year. For a tree farmer who invests 20 years plus into growing a crop, this bill hopefully will be a deterrent to those who want to steal from producers. For example, if someone willfully steals timber, uh, they're liable for three times the value of that timber plus punitive damages, so we think it will have a strong deterrent effect. Uh, it will also, again, have recovery that if someone's timber is stolen, the, that, that treble damages will come in as far as recovery. Uh, one of the things that, that I want to emphasize is it does not require landowners to do anything different than what they're, they're doing now. Another key piece of legislation this year is Senate Bill 213, which is called the Flint River Drought Protection Act. This bill will allow the state to augment stream flow to protect endangered species and protects against third-party lawsuits. The Flint River, as you know, in the Flint River Basin over the Florida Nacre, we have an adequate supply of water. However, we want to be prepared in the case of a drought that we can adequately manage that water so that farmers continue to have the needed irrigation water and we can also protect the aquatic life of that area and that's what the bill was about. Some years are drier than others and this particular bill was the result of a lot of hard work in Atlanta. It was a little difficult because we had uh, some ex extreme groups that were opposed to the legislation but we were able to, to satisfy their problems and, and get it passed. While that hard work is being done, lawmakers were not alone. We're up here every day. We want to make sure that if legislators have an issue or have a concern that's ag-related, that they we're easily available. We're here uh, working the, the halls and, and easily uh, found if needed. Reporting from Atlanta, I'm Mark Wildman for the Georgia Farm Monitor.